Hi everyone, thanks for coming to join me for this quick core practice. We'll begin in child's pose with the knees wide to the width of your mat, big toes together. Slide your hips back over your heels. Reach your hands forward and stretch through the side body as you reach your he hips back over your heels and your fingertips forward on the mat. Breathe deeply into the belly, feeling the belly sink between your thighs. And as you exhale, feel your hips sink, maybe a little closer down to the mat, to your heels. Taking this first few moments of practice to land on your mat, not just physically, but mentally. Even for a short practice, it's important to spend the first few minutes centering, breathing. Move now to a tabletop position and then plank on your knees. Lower all the way down to the mat with control. Moving into Sphinx Pose, bring your elbows underneath your shoulders so that your upper arms make a line that is perpendicular to the floor. Roll the shoulders back and down away from your ears. Collarbones are broad and the heart is pushing forward between your forearm, between your upper arms. Tailbone is turned down towards the bottom of your, towards your heels so that your core muscles are engaged. If you want a little more sensation, you can press into your palms and your elbows to straight. Remember to roll your shoulders back and down again. Turn the tailbone down. If you're feeling any kind of stress in your lower back, take, take a step backwards, release the back bend a little bit. This is a really nice pose where you can really find the true relationship between the strength of your core muscles and the health of your low back. Lower down easily to the mat and press the hips up and back to child's pose once again so that we can neutralize that back bend in, in a neutral pose. Nice easy breathing here. Finding that length in the side waist once again. And move to tabletop and we'll begin to move with our breath. Inhaling for cow belly breath. Bring the tailbone up. Exhale, angry cat round the spine. Inhaling, gaze forward, bring the tailbone up. Exhale, pull the navel up and away from the floor. Keep moving with your breath, inhaling to stretch the front of your body. Exhaling to round the spine, find that core strength. And when you're ready, curl your toes under and lift your knees about two inches up off the mat. Back is nice and flat here. Your neck is neutral, gazing down at the mat between your hands. Pull, feel like you're pulling your hip creases back towards the wall behind you, even while your shoulders stay directly over your wrists, stretching and lengthening that back while we build a little fire in the belly. Lift the hips up and back now, downward facing dog. Press into your hands to bring the hips further back behind you. Head drops like a like a bowling ball between your between your forearms and when you're ready hinge forward bring your feet between your hands coming right to the halfway lift with a nice flat back exhale fold, fold forward and then inhaling rise to stand exhale dive down again forward fold inhale halfway lift extend exhale moving to plank low plank Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhaling, bring your feet forward between your hands. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Exhaling, forward fold. Dive down, let the upper body be heavy here. Stay, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let the body be heavy here and just hang in your forward fold. Like a rag doll. Like 
Knees can be soft here, letting the lower back release. You can sway a little bit. And then inhale, rise all the way to stand. Hands up, look up if that feels good for you. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, jump back, plank pose, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hinging forward, bring, bring your knees to the mat now for tabletop pose. Wrists are underneath the shoulders. I'd like you to extend the right heel back to the back of the room. Foot is flexed. Feel like you're stamping on the black wall of the room. And extend the left hand forward, shoulder height. Exhale, draw the knee and the elbow together underneath your body. Inhale to extend. Keep moving with your own breath here. Inhaling, extend just like a little bit of cow belly breath and exhale, find a little angry cat in your body there, rounding the spine as you exhale. Left hand comes down, right foot sweeps across the mat over to the left, touch your toes down and then look over that left shoulder, getting a nice stretch in the right side body. Inhaling back to neutral and squeeze the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Inhale to extend, exhale, drop the right knee back down onto the mat and extend the left leg long. The right hand comes out shoulder height. Big inhale here and then exhale to have, join the elbow and the knee underneath the body. Inhale to extend, exhale, pull it all in. Inhale, extend, and then one more time, draw the elbow to the knee around the spine. Inhale, extend. Right hand returns to the mat and slide the left foot over towards the right. Looking over the right shoulder, getting a nice stretch in the left side body. Inhale, extend the, light, the left foot long and then exhale, squeeze the left side waist, bringing the left knee in towards the shoulder. Extend that leg long on the inhale and exhale. Draw the knee down. Walk your hands back in towards your knees and come up to stand on your knees. Now I'm turning to face you just so it's a little bit easier for you to see here, but you can stay facing forward on your mat. To bring your right foot out to the side. Inhale, find length in the side body as you bring your fingertips up. Right hand rests on the right leg and left hand sweeps up and over, stretching the left side body, opening up. A little bit of balancing here. Nice easy breathing. Inhale to come up and then exhale, bring the left hand down to the mat. Right hand comes up and over. Nice big stretch here. Feel that big breath in, opening up the muscles in and around the rib cage. Then the left hand comes high. Let the right foot float to hip height. Stay here or bend that knee. Bring the heel back towards the sits bone. See if you can take the right ankle or toe in your hand for a little back bend. Extend the leg long. And then on an inhale, let your shoulders float back up over your hips. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. So extend the left leg out, drop the left hand to the left thigh. Right hand sweeps up and over. Nice big inhale here. Feeling that stretch. Exhale, sink a little deeper. And then on your inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, right hand to the mat, left hand sweeps up and over stretching out the, that side of the body. Really breathe into these stretches. Next inhale, the left hand comes high. Left foot floats, hip height. If that's feeling good for you, you can try for the back bend. Bend your knee and reach back to take the ankle. Nice easy breathing here. Now with control, extend that leg long, reach up with your hand and come on back up to return to a kneeling position, hands at heart center. And bring your hands back down to the mat, return to child's pose, 
Resting once more. Nice easy breathing here. And when you're ready, move through tabletop to a seated position. Slide your hips to the center of the mat. And with your feet on the mat or your shins parallel to the ceiling, slowly lower yourself all the way down to your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug, a little sway, massage the back, and then bring the feet down to the end of the mat for Savasana. Rest here. Namaste.